What up, YouTube? So I'm going to try to breeze through this pretty quickly um, because my phone's been messing up and I've already tried to do this several times and it's been a bust. So I'm going to try to just breeze through it and cut out the, uh, the filler, I guess you could say. So James 1 and um, 23 says, For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer... Oh, no, I'm sorry. James 1 and 22, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Then let's go to Matthew 7 and uh, 20 through uh, 23. It says, Not every man that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Or, I'm sorry, 20 says, starting at 20, Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in iniquity. So, a lot of people teach that wrong. A lot of people will try to say, oh, well, you know, uh, they were trying to work their way into heaven. That's why they got no. Because he said it was because they worked iniquity. They used his name, but they didn't do the will of the Father. And so, which is to live a righteous and holy life. Not by the law, but by the newness of the Spirit. Not by the oldness of the letter. And so... The thing is, is we're, uh, and so a lot of people will, they'll say, oh, well, they were trying to work their way into heaven and no, 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 they were, they were professors and not possessors. And so then, I mean, it says blatantly, if you're a hearer of the word only and not a doer, you're deceiving yourselves. You cannot be a, a, a talker without being an you know, if you're walking, your talk don't match up. You're going to have some, uh, you're going to have some issues. And so the thing is, is, uh, you know, there's a lot of bad doctrine out there. Um, uh, and it's, uh, and the thing is, is, you know, it's, it's wrong. It's deceptive. Um, and it, it, it lulls people into a false sense of security. And they think that if they just accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, not their Lord, but their Savior, you see, because they want to die as Savior. They don't want the whole package. They don't want the Lord with the Savior because that requires some effort. Um, and what do we hate? Effort. Um, and when do we hate it? Now. But, uh, and later, and earlier. Uh, but, yeah, so, but, er, like, it's like that one song, your own personal Jesus. I mean, you can't have a personal Jesus. You just have Jesus, okay? You just have the Lord for who he is. You see, you got to take the Bible as a whole work. You can't just cherry pick what you want. And so, um, now, if it, if it's the Lord works on your understanding in a big way and there's what you understand, if you're doing the best, you know, that is righteous and it's not certain things. Cause there are certain things that says they will not enter into the kingdom of heaven, such as drunkards. If you're drunk, you will not enter in. If you are an idolater, you will not enter in. If you are an unrepentant homosexual, you will not enter in. Or if you're a fornicator, they, these are all things that don't enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, unless you repent of them. Now, when you repent, you ask for forgiveness. Now you, you know, you're getting somewhere. Um, but the thing is, is you have to, um, but you have to really, uh, it, it, you have to really be careful, man. Like he talks about your righteousness exceeding that of the Pharisees. And, um, you know, which honestly, when you really get looking at the Pharisees, it ain't that hard. It, it really ain't that hard to do to me. Uh, like not that I'm so righteous or nothing, but the Lord's been working on me for, a, for a while now. Um, but the thing is though, is like, cause it's kind of like saying, Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be better than these shysters, you know, for real. But, um, 
the thing is though but the lord works on your understanding if you're doing the best you know how and you and you don't have any known sin in your life you need to repent of fine you know i think if, if i think you're good but if you know you've got some stuff you need to repent of, you need to repent. You see, repentance has to be the lifestyle of a true believer. You see, Jesus Christ has got to be the Lord of your life. You know, you have to live for him. Now, there's this process called progressive sanctification. And so from the moment you've confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you, well, you professed him as your Lord and Savior, to the time you die... You are in an upward trajectory. That's how it should be, all the way home. Um, you're going through the mo you're going through the process of becoming holy, becoming more like God daily. And so the thing is, is you know, but if you because a lot of people will just they'll kick you some they'll kick you some stuff, man, and um. It will absolutely kick you some stuff, and uh, you got to be careful, man, because, like, they'll tell you, oh, one saved, always saved, let's go get hammered, and it's like, no, it don't work like that, you know. Um, now, once you are really saved, no, you're good, but you have to keep going. It says those who push on until the end will be saved. You have to keep going, and honestly, if you really got a relationship with the Lord, then you're not going to want to do you're, you're going to want to do what's pleasing to him. Because the thing is, in any relationship, especially when you really love the person, you don't do what they don't like and you do do what they do like. Right. Like it's just very simple. Um, but people try to make it they try to make it so dang complicated and it's it's really not um it's hard on the flesh but it's 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 you can you, you know it's just like any other relationship um only this relationship you're in it with uh, a holy god and he is holy um he's merciful but he's also righteous and he is you know the judge of all things and so uh now, like, but he does have a lot of mercy. We are given grace. We are saved by grace. We are saved by what Jesus did on the cross. Now you can't, but you can't have faith without works. You really can't have one without the other. Um, faith without works is dead. That's the Bible. I'm pretty sure that's in the book of James too. And so you can't, I mean, like it, faith, faith without works is dead. And then it says, why do you call the Lord said, why do you call me Lord? And you don't do what I've commanded you to do. You know, he can't be, if somebody is the Lord of your life, that indicates that you answer to them, that you are walking in obedience towards them. And again, not in the old, not in the oldness of the letter, but in the newness of the spirit, right? And so the thing is, is, but you have to, and, you know, to do this, you have to study to show yourself approved. Um, and you have to really be in the word because I'm telling you, there's so much doctrine out there that goes against the word of God and you have to know it yourself in order to not be deceived. And even if you know it, you're still probably going to be parts where you're deceived. Um, but you have to really actively try to not be deceived. That's the thing. And, um, I mean, you gotta you gotta work out your salvation with fear and trembling, because there are people that'll say, "Well, no amount of effort I put in can save me." And well, no, it's Jesus that saves you. But yeah, your effort is required, you know. And so, and honestly, a lot of people they're just they're looking to cop out. That's what it is. Like they want the fringe benefits of a relationship with Jesus without actually having a relationship with Jesus. And so many people wonder why they're not hearing from the Lord. Um, it's like, well, dude, uh, you know, like, is he going to talk? Is he going to waste his breath with somebody that, it, you know, it's falling on deaf ears? You know, if you're wise enough not to talk to somebody like that, don't you think the Lord is? Um, and so the thing is, is, but you have to, 
the Lord, and the Lord put it on me this morning. Like I just felt it. In, I, I knew it was based on some stuff I'd seen. It was time. I, I've, I need to preach on this a little bit or teach on it, but you can't have one without the other, man. You, you have to have faith and works. Um, like, because now, and people bring up the thief on the cross and they'll say, well, he didn't have time to get baptized or anything like that. And, you know, but no, he, he did a little, uh, mini evangelizing for what he knew. And, you know, he said, Hey, this dude over here is innocent. And then he believed, he believed and he was saved, you know, cause the Lord will make contingency for that sort of a situation. If you're on your deathbed, he'll make a contingency for that sort of a situation. And if you die early in the uh, process of sanctification, um, and you don't know any better yet. You know, I think he, he, he has grace for that too. Um, but not if you're in certain unrepentant lifestyles, uh, you have to crucify the flesh. You know, this is, you have to, this is a thing you got to carry. You got to pick up your cross and drag that thing. And so, you know, there's, there's a lot of this where, effort is indicated strongly and uh but there are so many people out there i mean honestly they just don't want to put effort into it they don't want to you know they will kind of want to you know like jesus already died for them but you know they don't want to put in any effort for him and so the thing is is like you know like baptism is a, is a sign it's you're dying to yourself and letting the Lord live through you. And the Lord can't live through you if he's got to compete with you for yourself. And we all have that struggle. Okay, we do. But are you actively trying to yield more of your life over to him? Or are you, you know, are you walking this thing out? Are you a professor and not a possessor? You know, are you living in unrepentant sin? And anything you know that is wrong that you need to get out of your life is a sin to you. If you, all unrighteousness is sin. So if you can think of stuff you're doing that you don't consider righteous, you need to get that out of your life. And you need to ask for forgiveness. Um, but, um, and there's other things, too. Like, it talks about those who are breaking the law. talks about damnation for that. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. But, like, well, and it's on it's on the same level, though. Like, and it's obvious stuff. Um, and there's, you know, he told us, like, there are two great commandments. Love the Lord your God with all you got. And, you know, love your neighbors, love yourself. Um, and then, you know, there's, there's just se uh, several other things. But, you know... To be saved, the initial salvation is just believing in Jesus Christ. But after that, you've got work to do. Unless you're on your deathbed or something like that, you have got some work to do. Um, and if you're trying to cop out of that, I mean, the Lord knows your heart and he knows what you know. And so if you try to cop out of that with whatever doctrine you use, dude, you're answering to the Lord for that. That's between you and him. I don't want anything between me and the Lord. I screw up enough on accident. Um, I try not to, I try not to, but like I, I screw up. Um, but the thing is though, is like I screw up enough not meaning to that if I if I know something I need to get out of there I really try to you know make that effort to get it out and you should too um but I think that's it I think I've gave a good amount of information but look into that um and, and uh, interesting you know you want a little homework look up the Nicolaitans they were they had a the Lord said he he didn't like what they do and um in revelations and they are basically a super hyper grace uh sect of christianity um early on and they just thought they had grace to live however they wanted you know you and you know you're not giving grace to fornicate and to do it and to live no it's you you're giving grace for growth so yeah 
but I'm sure there will be more on this later. But please be praying for me. You can always use your prayers. God bless. Peace out.